Welcome, and enjoy this lineup of the best games on Newgrounds for August 2019. If any one of these perk your interest, go to Newgrounds.com and give them a whirl for yourself to show the developers some love. Foxbot by Jazzed Games is a solid platformer with tight controls and a good sense of speed to it. Race through three different worlds with all manner of obstacles which can both help and hinder, like updrafts and conveyor belts, as you avoid deadly traps. Fans of platformers like Super Meat Boy will enjoy this short but satisfying romp. Be sure to try and beat your best time and go for a zero death run. Incremental Memory by Diamonax is a strangely addicting memory game where you challenge yourself to remember more and more complicated tile patterns. As you make it further, an upgrade system adds some variety to each playthrough. Do you opt to increase your observation time, or do you perhaps increase the amount of errors you can make? All in all, it has a simplistic, professional style to it, perfect to get into a chill trance with. Next One Tactics by Big Boss Erndog is a strategy game where you only have one unit, but it switches class every turn. Each class has its strengths and weaknesses, so you need to plan out your one-man fight against 17 puzzling waves containing all manner of enemies. If you're familiar with games like Fire Emblem, you'll be right at home with this weapon triangle type gameplay. Cactusama by Diamorth is a cute little puzzler where you turn blocks on and off to help Cactusama make their way across the 20 levels to meet with their love, Balloon Kohai. While theirs might be a tragic love, the bouncy, lively graphics and music will entertain you throughout. Just be careful not to soak Kaktusama with water! The Monotony of Carrots by David Marchand is a minimalist adventure game where a bunny grows bored of his existence of eating carrots and craves more excitement. Without spoiling anything, Let's just say that the bunny should be careful what he wishes for, as the game drastically changes the further you get. It's very short, but nevertheless a funny game with an interesting twist. Near Deadline by Nick Conter has you help an animator work to meet his deadline by shielding them from the Z's of sleep with paddles that you control. The game has wonderful peppy art and music, cutscenes with all sorts of little touches to it, including a main menu with a built-in drawing minigame. If you can make it through the five days, try challenging yourself with Endless Mode and see how far you can make it. Straight Outta Pixels by Mungia is a creative puzzle platformer that rap fans will love, as it is chock filled with rap references aplenty, with tons of rappers immortalized in goofy parody forms that talk in sound clips from their own music. Each rapper also has their own unique gameplay gimmick to their levels so there's a ton of variety here in gameplay as well. Ghostin' Brothers by O's Game has you sliding across the room between blocks and through portals, avoiding the spiked walls and other obstacles, collecting keys to make it to the exit. But it's not just you in this game. You also have to switch back and forth with your fellow ghost brother, who can also serve as a blocker himself, adding a whole new dimension to the many levels you can go through in this cute little puzzler. Jointed by Jose's 358. Fans of games like The Witness will enjoy this simplistic and pretty line puzzler where you must reduce the level down to a single joint where the stars can collide. There is no overt tutorial to teach you the mechanics. Instead, the game intuitively introduces mechanics bit by bit until you're straining your noggin against some real brain teasers in the end. Luckily, the chill, atmospheric tone that pervades this game will keep you relaxed throughout. Animemos by Exmatos is a quirky WarioWare-type game with goofy art and music where you test your memory against a series of minigames. Just when you think you're getting the hang of it, the game throws you for a loop as it goes back and forth between stages, meaning you have to keep track of all sorts of information. Can you make it all the way to super hard, where the game gets really nuts? Life is Snot by Blackthorn Prod is an interesting Metroid-esque platformer with crazy psychedelic art, where you play as a snot-sneaking love. Snots age over one minute and gain and lose different powers as they age, such as being able to fly in later age, but being too big to fit in smaller areas. 
As the nine loves you search for are locked away in all manner of places, you'll need to puzzle out the ideal route through a fun journey of trial and error. Marble Trap by Mr. Nannings Looking for a good Marble Madness clone in your life? This game will have you rolling a marble down all sorts of levels, racing to the end of each. Solid controls and a good sense of momentum makes this a pleasurable experience as you fight to stay on course while weaving through spikes and swinging axes. Just watch out for those cannons, trust me. Abide With Me by Mara Frost A short but very emotional visual novel about a son visiting his elderly parents and the difficulties he has communicating with them. The game's beautiful, immersive dialogue, as well as clever use of mechanics and presentation, especially in the second act, which I won't spoil, will take you on a heartbreaking but powerful journey that will resonate with many a player. Space Conquerors by Igor Petz Though badly translated and difficult to get into initially, Space Conquerors has an impressive level of scale to it as a browser-based 4X game. Base building, tower defense, free space flight, resource gathering, and more, all in a galaxy-wide multiplayer environment with other players flying around. This game has potential for those who want to dig deeper. Postmortem by No Stoge. A post-post-apocalyptic point-and-click adventure with an intriguing story that is told throughout separate characters and seemingly separate timelines. While the story is up for debate and left on a cliffhanger for now, the atmosphere, puzzles, and humor are solid and will leave you wanting more. Dwayne Crashers by Milk Bar Jack is an action-packed arcade throwback where you play as one of four sisters and blast your way through four levels chock full of enemies and weapons to make it to the final boss. The game boasts charming graphics and sound to make a stylish presentation to go along with its nuclear throne inspired combat. Shoot 'em up fans should definitely check this out. Clock Crew Dress Up by Little Reina. Fans of Clock Crew and old school Newgrounds games will experience a wave of nostalgia with this simple but cute dress 'em up celebrating Clock Day. Have fun searching for the hidden medals as well. Supe Surrendori by Natabla is an experimental adventure game that, similar to games like Frog Fractions and others, gets crazier and crazier the more you play it. Make your way through the bizarre and disturbing point-and-click introduction to make it to the next part which, without spoiling anything, will blow your mind and put your skills to the test. Spacebar by Stuffed Wombat Like the name suggests, Spacebar is a single-button platformer where, once you familiarize yourself with the deceptively complex controls, provides a nice series of challenging levels which you only have one shot at. While short, the game has a nice and smooth minimalistic style to it that makes it a pleasure to battle through the initial difficulties. Flesh to Stone by Gio Corelli a bullet hell frenzy where you can temporarily turn to stone to avoid death as you race around collecting all the fragments of power from each stage. The fast-paced nature of the gameplay is amplified by the peppy graphics and sound, making it a pleasure to revisit in New Game Plus or Endless Mode for kicks. Cannon by Mamat Ugg is a tricky physics-based platformer where you play as a cannon whose only method of movement is blasting himself with his own cannonballs. While initially a simple concept, you'll be racking your brain and making all sorts of trick shots to get to the end of each level as you make it closer and closer to the finish. Super Agent Drunk Kent by Wreckware is a platformer where you, a super agent, smoothly traverse obstacle-laden levels to save the world. Or at least you would, if you weren't drunk as hell. Much like Quop, Octodad, and various other Fumblecore games, this game will have you struggling to control your drunken self, laughing all the way as you trip, stumble, and fall to the end of each level. Cosmos by City Builder 14 is a simple 2D shooter with distinctively bright graphics that could attract a whole colony of moths to your computer screen. 
blast your way through level after level of various enemies as you race against constantly rising lava, or challenge your friend to some local multiplayer. It's all up to you. Just wear some sunglasses first. Citadel of the Flame King by Kung Fu Space Barbarian is a goofy text adventure with RPG elements set in a world with pizza, chainmail bikinis, magical fire swords, and wizards named Flapjack. Make crazy choices, meet fellow weirdos, battle strange foes, and gear up to become the blazing knight of legend and have your final battle with the Shifter, a shape-shifting robo-dragon. That's it for this month. Thanks for watching, and once again, if any of these games interest you, visit Newgrounds.com to play them and more.